Hello, fellow SAS defenders. We've got a very interesting one for you guys that was brought to our attention by Buddy Pitt. He's over at Logically. And what they have been seeing is threat actors have been loading uh, this particular enterprise app called Perfect Data Software to exfiltrate data. He also sent me over this Darktrace article. It's a very interesting read. I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. But basically, you know, the threat actor signs in to someone's account, usually over a VPN to disguise their location. And once they're in, establishes this perfect data software connection, exfiltrates the data. I want to go ahead and show you how to prevent this with a respond rule. And I also want to encourage you definitely to check this article out. There's a whole bunch of really good information. We're going to take a look at one of the logs here. We can see that they signed in, they created the perfect data software connection and gave it consent. And from there, it would pretty much just download their entire mailbox and any files they have access to. Perfectly legitimate software used for malicious purposes. However, if you are managing their backups, there's really no reason for this software to be loaded at all. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our SAS alerts and respond. Let's create a new rule. We're going to call this perfect data software monitor. Create a new event here and let me go ahead and assign it to all my organizations. I'm going to go to conditions. I'm going to look for a SAS integration here. I only want to be notified if it happens even once. I go to my filter and I go to description details, contains perfect data software. You see that we have taken the description from the article, perfect data software. So if this happens at all, we're going to be notified. I'm going to set this for a do nothing just to test it out make sure it works okay. Set it for a critical alert. I'm going to go ahead and activate this rule. Let's save it. Awesome. We're good to go. He also sent me a really interesting email last week that described a very similar software being used in a malicious purpose EM client. He sent me some really interesting screenshots of how it happened. So you have your VPN login here to the client's uh, device, or I'm sorry, to the client's account. And we see that uh, the application was used here. We can see right here, so it was installed here at the screen and then used. And this is the rule that Buddy created to notify them on that one. So let's go ahead and let's do the same. Most of our clients are probably not going to be using a third party Outlook software, probably going to be just using Outlook. So why don't we go ahead and just notify on that? Let's make our lives easier. Let's duplicate this rule. Awesome. Let's edit. Let's call this EM client. software name, just E and the capital M and then client. Perfect. E capital M client. Awesome. So if somebody installs this software, we're also going to be notified. Great. Do nothing. Perfect. Update it. We're ready to rock and roll. Thank you to Buddy. It's partners like Buddy over at Logically that really help drive this product and keep the whole entire community informed so we can monitor for this malicious usage and take action on it. Uh, feel free to do more than do nothing. If you want, you know, you could expire sessions and block the, uh, block the sign in 100%. 
But for now, we're just going to test this out, make sure it works, and at least get alerted if it's happening so our help desk can jump on, on it. If you have any questions about this rule, uh, just feel free to let us know. But if you see Buddy, tell him thank you. See you guys.